Welcome back, puppies, to a new part of Three Dogs on a Couch. I had a few people ask me um, some questions. One well, of my friends said, man, you really need to get out there and tell a bit about yourself. So we're just going to be doing a little bit of a gameplay while I tell you about Three Dogs on a Couch where we got started, who Cage really is, and talk a little bit about my puppies, introduce them, so you sort of know wh how I came up with this channel and my ideas behind it. So enjoy, and thanks for joining me. If you like this video, just share a like, you know, you Share a like, subscribe, do whatever you feel like. Comment. If you want more content like this where I talk a little bit about my background and stuff like that, just uh, go ahead and let me know. And we will definitely, uh, I'll definitely try and answer your questions. So let's get started. So what's the first thing I can tell you about me? I guess it would be, my name's Cage. It's a pretty unique name, as you've heard at the beginning of all my videos. Um, how did I come up with the name Cage, or is that really my true name? It is part of my true name. Um, part of my name is derived from one of my other names, which is after my grandfather. Um, when I was going to school... Uh, we had a lot of people named the same thing that I was named. Um, so when I got to college, every time with a big room of about 100 to 150 people in the class, uh, there were a lot of people with my name. So to go in, I took my grandfather's name, which was McCager, and shortened it to Cage. Um... We had, my friends had started calling me Cage before that just because there were a lot of people named my same name. Um, I still have people that call me by, I actually have four names. Um, there's an interesting fact about me. Um, but yeah, basically, some of my friends call me by my other names still. My parents still call me by the name that they like for me. And then most of my new friends are calling me Cage now. And it sort of just stuck around. Um, so that's that's the story of how I got my name. And then, so the way I came up with Three Dogs on a Couch, when I first started on YouTube, um, I started when YouTube first existed. I never really started recording stuff. I have a few things on my other video, which is K my other channel, which is Cage O'Malley, which that has some very old footage of me uh, with my nephews. Um, and so, ne nephews and my friends. And so, from that time, I was more using that account as a way to view YouTube content get around at that time I was probably uh, let's see what year was it when YouTube came out I forget when it came out but I remember I was a little younger than the 18 margin um, when it first came out and so they would always constantly ask are you 18 and to get around that question I would always I made my own uh, my own channel just to view people with. Um, some of the people that I watched back then were like Ego Raptor, and then when it became the Game Grumps, I watched the Game Grumps, um, watched Jenna Marbles, and a few of the smaller people at the time that did just independent animations and stuff like that. Um, but then about Let's see, I would say about 2000, 2011 to 2012, 
is when I really wanted to start YouTubing. Uh, my one of my best friends wanted to start a channel together. We were going to. Um, we just never really had time to record together. So he kept pushing me, go ahead, make your own channel. So I was like, okay, man, I'll make my own channel. He started making his own channel. And from there, um, I didn't really have too much of a name. Um, I went through on my Cage O'Malley channel and just used that. And the thing about it was I got tired of it, so I deleted a lot of my videos. Um, but what happened was then in about 2012, I decided to start recording again. Then I scrapped that one again, and that was also the same name of the channel, KJ O'Malley. It just stayed the same. Um, in... 13 and 14 is when I really started looking at wanting to do a gaming channel. Um, I know I'm not as funny as Ego Raptor or, or, you know, as he's known, Aaron and Dan. I wish I had that comedy duo like they had, um, but it's been really hard to find someone, um, me and my other friend, are still trying it's just hard because everyone has their own schedule um, I still want to do videos with my friends um, but with that uh, I went into rescuing a couple dogs and at that point I said you know what I really want to start this gaming channel so I had three dogs at the time and I had a couch in my room and so I said you know what I'm gonna name this three dogs on a couch and I'll have Cage O'Malley and three dogs on a couch um, and so that's where that went to I had recorded for about two years worth of recordings um, and I went in and I never really did anything on YouTube. I did a couple just little gameplay videos. Never really tried to finish any of them. You know, it was like a one-up where I'd go in. My content was crap. Um, I felt horrible about making the content that I made. And I was like, you know, this one-hit stuff is stupid. Um, I don't get to hear any from my audience or anything, so I started doing Twitch, and did Twitch for about two and a half years. Um, during that time, I actually was working at a local law enforcement agency. Um, I would work during the night shift. Um... So night shift would happen. Then morning I would get up. Well, I'd get off work. And I had Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes. And so I would get up. I'd get off about, let's see, I would say 6 o'clock in the morning. Class started at 8. I lived an hour from home. And my home was an hour from school. Which school and work was only like um, 5 minutes apart. So I forgoed going home. I would go straight to school and I would sit there and take a nap for two hours uh, in my actual seat um, waiting for class to start. And so during that time, I was really busy with that kind of stuff. Well, I was still doing the... Um, still wanting to stream on Twitch. So I went in, and on my days off, which would, should have been time for sleeping, I actually got together and um, went in and basically, um, basically stayed up all night. And I would only get like an hour of sleep 
sometimes a night to two hours of sleep a night. And that was a really hard thing. So then I quit Twitch and started YouTube again. And so with YouTube, um, I started up the, the Three Dogs on a Couch through YouTube. Now, the thing to know about Three Dogs on a Couch, like I said before, was I had three dogs at the time. And if you notice our logo has two dogs on a couch and one in the corner pooping and you would have the image of me um, with the little controller for my head. But so the first dog and the oldest dog that I have right now is Yoshi. And let's see, Yoshi is... Mm, Yoshi's eight years old. He just turned eight uh, April 9th. Um, he's the only one that I really know the age to. Um, I rescued his mom. And when I rescued his mom, we did not know that she was expecting puppies. Um, so one day I come home from school on, on, I think it was from school, either school or work. I came home and... Uh, my mom was like, Andrew, this dog is going crazy. You, you need to check it out. And I'm like, okay, mom, I'll, I'll check it out. And about that time, all of a sudden she stood up and out pops this little black lab puppy. And she was a red bone coon hound. And so then by the time she was done, um, she had a litter of nine. I had already rescued her and I had rescued a pit bull mix. Um, I rescued him from the pound. He was actually going to be terminated the day after I adopted him. Um, and so that happened. And so I found all of the puppies a home and kept kept one which is Yoshi um, and then so <clears throat> so that happening the way it did um, I said you know what? I don't want any more dogs I'm good well I started a job again at a another a security office working as a security guard and while I was working there someone dumped this little schnauzer poodle mix and he looked sort of like the mogwai from gremlins and so I named him gizmo my mom uh, he really likes my mom more than me so he became more of my mom's dog um, now I'm working at a church, um, doing some maintenance work and that kind of stuff. I started that when I went to my graduate college. Um, and so all of a sudden this dog showed up and she was scaring the actual, um, she was scaring the people that were there. And so, through that, uh, through her scaring them, I said, you know what, I have some dog crates, I'll take her home, and I will find her home or find her owner. Well, there was no owner. I looked at all the lost dog sites. No one was missing a dog. That was a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Um... So through that, I said, well, I guess I have another dog. So the, at this point, I had three dogs. And that's when I started Three Dogs on a Couch on YouTube. And I said, okay, well, I'll start Three Dogs on a Couch. Well, the way I got the logo was because every time I turned around, that dog was pooping. I'm like, why the heck are you pooping everywhere? And she wasn't potty trained, so I had to potty train her. And she was like a year, two years old when I rescued her. Um, 
So then from there, we moved to a different house. And at that house, uh, my mom walked outside and found a, a it was a American bully and so I tried finding him ho a home as well could not find a home for him I could tell he had been severely abused anytime I would do anything he would sit there and wet himself and curl up into almost a ball um, and whimper um, and I know how pounds are with bulldogs and pit bulls and any of those breeds um, and so I decided to keep him and I named him Rex because he had a big head and a little body and I thought he looked like a T-Rex um, and so oh, one day I'm sitting there and I had to go get his rabies shots and go get a checkup on him. So I went in and on the way I found a puppy. I saw this little thing hopping. I thought at first it would, might have been a rabbit but it was black. I'm like that's not usually how rabbits look. And it was hopping in a ditch. So. I did double take and said that is not a I said that's not a rabbit so I turned around I went and picked the little thing up it was a little puppy that was about five weeks old and so um, from there I went in and about that time when I picked him up another one came out of the bushes I'm like, holy crap, there's two little puppies um, that are just on their own. So I took the one to the car and I made sure that Rex was going to be okay with them. And I get out and I follow the other dog into the woods. And in the woods, there's this dead deer carcass that they're eating I said oh my goodness this is horrible so I get out I have the other dog in my hands about that time another dog peeks out from behind the deer carcass and he's sitting there and so I said all right so I grab him too and I put him in the car I'm like these are gonna be easy to find homes for their puppies who doesn't want a little bitty puppy it looked like a pit bull mixed with a lab I'm like they're the cutest little dogs I've seen and so I thought okay this is gonna be an easy find for a home <laughs> yeah so I put them up on a site on Facebook and in our actual uh, vets that we have and different things like that. I had to have good, uh, free to a good home and no one ever called on them. And so I was like, okay. So what happened was I went in and put up pictures everywhere and no one ever claimed them so now I have three dogs well I named one of them the first one I encountered he was sort of quiet um, I named him Murphy and then there was a little chocolatey colored one which I named Coco um, and then the one that was the loudmouth, I should have just named him Loudmouth because he barks all the time now. Um, but I named him Jake. So now I'm up to, with my dogs and my mom's dog, I have seven dogs all together. Um, I've rescued other animals in the past before. Um, but yeah, that's sort of how three dogs came about. I'm sorry to end my story there, puppies, 
But if you want to hear more, like I said, just comment your questions, and I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, thanks for joining us. This has been K. Joe Malley and Three Dogs on Couch. Good night. Good day. K. Joe Malley, signing off.